Yo, what's up guys? Mark here. Today we're outside and we're going fishing. Recently I've been craving some catfish. So we pulled up to a spot where I've caught some before. Some of y'all probably already know where I'm talking about. It's one of the bigger lakes we got here in Georgia. And I got one of my friends out today. He's gonna help me try to catch a fish. Pierre. What's long, green, and smells like bacon? What? Kermit the Frog's finger. All right, let's get these catfish. Woo! We're at Lake Lanier. This is right where I caught that catfish. Oh! No swimming. What size catfish are we catching today? Uh, huge. Better be at least over this. I got some for you too. This. So nice. And for bait, they had rainbow trout. They had rainbow trout at the gas station. So we got some rainbow trout. Really? Teeny tiny, four pound line. That's why I couldn't hook them. I couldn't, I can't set the hook. Uh-huh. They pull a lot harder. It takes a lot more to get them in. Right. That's a bass. <laughs> That's, That's big. That's my first one with a little itty bitty rod like this. That's a good catch. Nice. Dang. All right, we got my ugly stick and we're gonna use this liver. The setup, split shot and a hook. I would do a Carolina rig, but don't got time right now. Put a bell on the end. Now we wait. All right, for Pierre's rod, we're gonna put a little herring on. Just gonna hook them behind the back. Take off the scales. All right, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast it out. Okay. Reel it in a little bit so there's less slack. Yeah, like that. That's good. You also want it to be no slack when you put it down. So like when some bites, you'll see it. Yeah. I'm gonna put my bag down on this so I don't lose my rod. So me and Pierre are dueling right now. Next we got the Shakespeare rod. This one we're gonna put this itty bitty rainbow trout. All right, there we go. Oh, yo guys, check that out. There's a heron on that dock over there. See him? Posted. Cast this one out. Put this down right here. And wait for a bite. All right, this is the last rod. We're gonna actively fish this. Got a 1 8 ounce jig head and a minnow on it. Go! Cast and reel. Yoosh! Yoosh! We got one! Oh, on the cat, on the reel in. Let's go! Oh! 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 oh. Let's go! This is a big bass. He's driven by the thrill of the sail. God. Oh, on the reel in. Let's go. This is a big bass. No cap. That's the biggest I've seen you catch. Yeah, this is big. This is over a foot for sure. Yes, sir. You tell him I'm a yeah. Dang, on the real end. Dude. That was like five minutes. Literally like five minutes. Yes. Fish number one. Sure. All right, we got one bass. We're, the aim was for a catfish, but... We'll do it with bass. Yeah, we'll do it with some bass. Okay, that was Come on, let's get a good cast. Let's see a nice... What right, I gotta teach you how to do this. No, 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 no. It's catching on something. Oh, this is catching again? I was swinging it before. Heaving it. You gotta teach me how to do that cowboy shit. Yeah, I'll teach you. That shit right there was... Oh! Yeah, boy. Oh, we got a bite on a rod somewhere over here. Is it this one? 
There's one over here. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. On the Shakespeare rod? Tell him not to. What we got? What we got? Ah! Oh. Dude. We're on a hot streak today. Dang, this is a beast. He went for it. He went for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this one's huge. This one's insane. Like, the head is as big as my hand. Dude, <laughs> Holy crap. Another one. Who else, bro? 30 Another minutes. one. Give us 30 minutes. Sheesh. That is crazy. Two to back to back. You were right, too. That was that rod yeah, yeah. over there. I saw it flip. <laughs> that is at least bro, that's two mark. feet bro yeah. this is two feet look at my arm yo it's his whole forearm <laughs> holy cow all right let's get the hook out oh my gosh Look at how big he is compared to the other one. He's got a hog. You got a good one? This one. Sure enough. Good luck. Appreciate it. Damn. Today was a game changer, bro. All right. We're going to check the liver. Whoa. Can't lose this. We need this. Just liver. The, the, the trout's been... Working the best so far. We did what we were gonna do here. We put in work. We're gonna go to that dock over there. All right, we're at another spot now. This dock goes a little farther out. And yeah, we're gonna throw some trout and some heron out there and see what we catch. Go trout, go! It's about seven o'clock now. No bites. It's starting to rain a little bit too. No more fish. But today, this is what we got. Got largemouth bass. We got this monster. Absolute beast. So I'll take it. All right. Now we got food. Time to go. Oh, oh! I messed up. Time to go back to the hideout. Me o toji. We're back at the crib. We got this humongous bass, the smaller bass, and then the four trouts that we have for bait, and two, what do you call this, smelt. So this is the little trout we caught this big one on, and then we caught this one on the jig head. But yeah, so the next day I kept them on some ice. So that was pretty crazy. This is definitely the biggest bass I ever caught. It's about 17 and a half. 17 and a half inches. How many pounds do you think it is? Two and a half. What? Two and a half. Oh. New PB, two and a half pound bass. And the smaller one is one and a half pounds and about 14, 14 inches. We caught these at Lake Lanier. Sometimes what I've heard a lot is bass, when they get bigger, they tend to be stinkier. So let's smell it. No, this one smells fresh. Ooh. But, yeah, it smells good, but they do say the meat tends to be stinkier. So, the dish I'm thinking about doing today is a, it's called tan tanyaki. And it's a dish I used to eat when I worked at a Japanese restaurant. They would give it to the employees. But it's basically a miso vegetable steamed dish. So that's how we're going to make it. Just in case it's stinky, because if it's stinky, the seasoning from the miso dish is definitely going to just overpower any stink that it has, if it has any. I'm going to stop at the store. And got some vegetables for it, some mushrooms, some cabbage, and some green onion. The rainbow trout, I'm thinking we're just gonna fry them whole tempura. Just dip them in the tempura batter and fry them whole. But right, first, 
We'll start on these baths. Scales just come right off. I think that's a good thing about bass. They're really easy to scale. You got some big ones. These are kind of small actually. Like yeah. a carp, like a carp has scales like like freaking Huge. like yeah, humongous. But yeah, you also want to be careful when you're scaling them because they got these spines and it freaking hurts if you're just if you nick yourself. So just be extra careful. Alright, next to trout. These ones you don't really gotta worry about the scales like that. And then we're gonna put salt on it to get the leftover slime off the fish because it has a little fishy taste. And try some flour too. Yeah. All right, bigger bass. First, we're gonna take off the head. We're gonna come behind here. Then we're gonna make a cut up the collar. Make a cut. Oh. This, this is a female. A female. Yes, sir. More food. Oh my gosh, Mark. You're gonna have to put a warning graphic on this. Go up the belly. That's a roll. Oh, but this is a really. This is a good bit of eggs. Yeah. It's, everything on this fish is way bigger than I'm used to seeing. I was like, ooh. We're gonna eat these. Oh, let's check the stomach. Cover your nose, folks. Just, oh. Oh, there might not be nothing in here. Ooh, that don't look, uh. You can't show that. <laughs> you can't show that. Got the swim bladder right here. This is how fish control their buoyancy. It's just filled with air. And as YouTuber always says, it's filled with fresh air. So we're gonna give it a smell. And then, so with bass, they got this little fat, layer of fat right here. And this fat is normally stinky. But since we're gonna fillet it, it's just gonna come right off. So we don't gotta worry about that. So we're gonna make cut coming down the back. A little shallow cut. Flip it around. Cut going down the belly. Then come up until you hit the ribs. Then we're gonna cut through them. All right, filet number one. Dang, that's some good looking meat. Mm. And it smells good. Same thing with this side. Come down the back, shallow cut, follow it up, flip it around, come down the belly. Over this part. You can use this for fish stock. There we go. Two filets of some largemouth bass. It's not stinky. All right, next we're gonna take off the, the rib bones. All right, got the ribs off. A lot of times the bass, the, f the stomach can be kind of stinky fat. Maybe we'll eat this, I don't know. Oh. All right, now this side. All right, bass number one is done. Bass number two, cut right here. Come up the collar, shallow cut. Make a cut on the belly. Use my smaller knife. Use my smaller knife. Big bass and the small bass fillets. All right, next he's got some pin bones going down the middle. You take your finger like this, you can feel them. So you're gonna cut it next to them. And they stop about in the middle, like that. Off. So, 
I'm gonna leave the skin on a couple of them so we can see if it tastes fire with the skin and without the skin. All right, next, we're gonna cut these into some smaller pieces. All right, this is all the bass. All right, next we're gonna gut the little fish. Take the scissors, come up. And Trout got this blood right here. Take your finger, run up it. All right, we got the first preparations for the fish all done. おい、久しぶりじゃない。ね、お母さん。あら、可愛いわね。ブラックバスよ。ブラックバス。ほら。ほらほら。食べてちょうだい。オッケー。どう? ね、ね、ね、行かないで。ほらほらほら。ほら。ほらほらほら。取ってちょうだい、取ってちょうだい。取っていいよ。取って。早く取って。もうそんな怖がらなくていいよ。もう。めっちゃ美味しそうに食べ
Then we're gonna throw in two tablespoons of butter. Then we're gonna cover. Forgot the onions actually. Throw some onions in there. Now we'll simmer. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Gonna throw the fish eggs in. I'm gonna steam it some more. All right, next we're gonna set the tempura. Hot. Throw in some oil. All right, next we're gonna be using some. Some kotsu no iranai tempura ko. Yeah. Some easy make tempura batter. All you gotta do is add water. You want it to be pretty watery. This consistency. You're gonna take the trout, dip them in. Get them fully coated. Take them all. Senye chashu. Senye chashu. Senye chashu. Senye chashu. Alright, we're gonna put on some Himalayan salt. Alright, this is done. Bass chan chan yaki, rainbow trout tempura, and some shad tempura. Alright, first, let's get some of this chan chan yaki. I see my piece, I've already sniped it. The belly. Alright, right here. Mm hmm. Mmm. Hey, um, the sauce reminds me of, um, Cajun boiled peanuts. For real? Mm hmm. That true Georgia thing. The bass? Mm. Super good flavor. Mm hmm. I use a little bit fishy, but it's not anything overwhelming. Gosh, that's really good. Ooh. It's nice too because you're getting your veggies in. You mm -hmm. got some cabbage and some mushrooms. Well balanced meal. Mm -hmm. Drizzlings on it. It was really good with rice. Mm -hmm. The sauce makes it what it is for sure. <clears throat> Alright, next, fish eggs. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Good fish eggs. I feel like most fish eggs taste the same. Just like, taste like this. I say they taste a lot like uh, chicken eggs. Alright, now, let's try the tempura. I'll take this one. It's rainbow trout. I'm gonna just go straight head. Valid. Mm hmm. That'll do it. The bones don't get in the way. Nice white meat flavor. And the best way to enjoy small fish fry them whole in some tempura batter, or not even, you don't have to fry them in batter. Alright, now this is the smell. That's just like a chip. It's like a hi bye. <laughs> it's like, no. Woo! Woo! All right. After finishing the meal. Okay then. Kuso. Kuso down on the ads. You got me today, folks. So good. That was fun. That was good. That was fun getting out to Lake Lanier, catching some bass. Biggest one, I think. Biggest I'll one yet. And catch. The next time we're gonna try to get some catfish. Catfish is so good, bro. We gotta fry it. Uh, check out my Patreon. Check out the merch. Don't merch. forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.